the only champion to have walked the rift and gotten out of it alive, if you could call this alive. To counter him, you could abuse his passive's clear weakness by picking an AD champion. Talon can really gap close and delete him quickly. Zed's high mobility and burst is another interesting pick, and Yasuo for his wind wall and passive can block a lot of damage. Heimerdinger's constant pushing, and Malzahar who can keep him still while the rest pummels him, make other good counters. Kassadin's passive makes him take 15% reduced damage, and it permanently ghosts him as well. His Q is a point click ability that deals magic damage to a target, while also granting him a magic damage shield that lasts for one and a half seconds. His W is an auto reset that will grant his next auto extra range, and also makes it deal extra magic damage as well as restore some of his missing mana. His E can only be used after its special passive is full, and it gets filled per ability used by any champion, including himself, in the near vicinity. At 6 stacks, he'll deal damage in a small cone in front of him while also slowing enemies he hits. His ultimate makes him teleport to a target location and deal damage. Starts at 6 seconds, drops to 4, and then 2 seconds when maxed. The catch is, the mana cost is doubled if he used within 15 seconds of the previous activation. Most Cassadins will only try to trade with you when their E is active, but remember that it is not on a time cooldown meaning after he's used it, he'll be down to two abilities until his E passive is filled again. As for spells, Cassadins almost exclusively take teleport, so that they can do what they do best, which is to push their lane and roam to others. As I've said in a lot of previous videos, in my opinion, taking teleport versus teleport is its big counter. If you want to deny his insane roaming potential, take that as well. As for power spikes, Cassadins' potential really shines in the mid game after he reaches level 6 and can start going to other lanes. He'll go for an early rod of ages so that he can jump into the middle of team fights, find the right target, and get out while still alive. Lich Bane will also really make his autos hit for a ton. There is not a proper item that you can build to counter him, but I'd suggest going for some sort of magic resist like an abyssal to prevent him from jumping your guts and bursting you down. Leandri's works pretty well because of its HP boost as well. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, his passive makes him take reduced magic damage, so be counting on that. He'll be useless when he gets pushed to his own tower, and whenever he hits level 16, remember that he'll be jumping every 2 seconds. Ultimately, have fun doing it.